We just had a tremendous panel uh, at ILTA, and the topic was dealing with the new models of alternative staffing that's going to alternative fee arrangements. And probably the most visible arena for that right now is e-discovery. Over the last couple of years, we've seen the emergence of new lawyer positions. I wrote about that um, in an article called Can You Adapt? And one of the things that has come out is there are new staff attorneys who aren't partners necessarily. They're not associates. Sometimes that's their title, or they might be of counsel. And what these folks are doing is going in and overseeing the entire e-discovery uh, process in many cases. This is exciting on a lot of levels because it's opening up new opportunities within law firms and kind of reflects, I think, the shift from law firms being run in the past as very much a caste system with partners and associates and that was it. And now we're seeing more roles for lawyers that aren't traditional and reflect more of a business approach to running the law firm. So that's a very, very exciting thing. However, it comes with some management issues. And one of the things we just wrote about in the new issue of LTN is how do you manage contract lawyers if you are going to bring them in? Perhaps you're bringing them into a law firm or it might even be a vendor hiring a team of contract lawyers. And the author talks a lot about making sure that the, that your contract lawyers are adequately briefed on the case, having quality control, especially when you have a new hire, to make sure that he or she is really getting it and is going to be productive. And even things as pragmatic as making sure that, that they have a good equipment, an ergonomic chair, and the proper monitor. So it's an emerging area we're going to see a lot of activity in, I suspect.